with uh, oven mitt. Maybe oven mitt. Ein, ein, gorm, ein, ein, see. I mean, you know, we all speak regular Gaelic, but Peyton's kind of into his own thing, you know. I've yelled Magic Man, uh, I've yelled Baby Got Back. Then over here in the digital center is our highlight screening area. So that's where we get all the games uh, that are played that night. Questions or anything? I can answer whatever you want about it. Right, I'm not superstitious. Um, maybe a little stitious, you know, that's a, that's a bad joke. Eli gave me that joke, I'm sorry. Well, this makes me so happy. Two-time Super Bowl champ Peyton Manning will host the 2017 ESPY Awards in Los Angeles this July. You've, of course, seen Manning's acting chops, his hosting abilities on SNL, and, of course, in all those commercials that seem to run on a loop these days. Uh, safe to say, guys, this should be very, very entertaining. Uh, Woody, what do you think of this? I think it's great. You know, what Peyton is, is great when, it, you know, when it comes though. to media and just – he's funny. He's authentic. He's funny. He knows how to make fun of himself. Obviously, he knows how to make fun of other people. I think, Coach, I have no problem with it. I think it's a really good choice. Pressure. It's a lot of pressure. He loves pressure. He does. All right, so from a surefire Hall of Fame quarterback to one who has never thrown a regular season pass, Kirsten Ackerberg said this to reporters on Monday about heading into his second season. I'm a lot more comfortable in year two. I really, really feel good about where I'm at now. The guys, the, the Jets love the eager beaver mentality that Christian Hackenberg has showed them. So, Herm, do you think that Todd Bowles should name him the starting quarterback of the New York Jets? No, I think he, he has to earn it. And, and I'm glad he's speaking out. I actually coached him when he was coming out of high school in the Under Armour game uh, before he went to Penn State. And he has some, he has some ability, uh, but he's been quiet. Why are you happy he's speaking out? Because he... he because I think when you're a player and you feel like, you know what, they, they, they just think I'm comfortable being the backup guy. Mm. You, you, at the quarterback or any position, you don't want a guy like that on your team. You want him to speak. He, he sat there. He hadn't said anything. He's been, he's been more quiet than a church mouse. Yeah. Right? Speak up. Hey, I want to compete to be the starting quarterback in New York. Go ahead and say it. Don't be afraid of it. Yeah. And go Listen, play. Ultimately, you got to be a leader of men. So I, I applaud the move. But like Coach said, he's got to – He's got to go, go out there and earn it because if yes. you don't, see, then it looks yeah. bad yeah. in the locker room. Guys start looking like, oh, well, coach is playing favorites yeah. now, so he needs to earn it. Oh, definitely. And he was miserable in that one preseason game he played in. Six of 16, 105 yards, a touchdown, and an, and an interception. So, Damien, you know what he can do if you're a player. Do you have any confidence in him? We'll find I mean, out. We're going to find out real yeah. soon. It's, it's too early to we're make the call.